Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please, if this is your first time viewing, consider to subscribe to this channel so that anything you let exciting video we notice fine. Let's stop this simple question on the board. Now look at what we are given. We are given that ling what sin x all the power what s sin s all the power what c is plus cos s all the power c is, is equal to what one over what eight sorry one over four. We are asked to find the value of x. This question is very simple if you understand trig tri trigonometric identity very well and also know the rule that behind what hypothagoras what theory. Now look at what we are going to do. Let's let's apply the law of indices here. Now consider write this as what into sine sine raised to the power what three x okay or raised to the power what two. Remember that three times two will give us six. Don't forget, very important. Okay, but let's not put it that way. Let's remove this. Right, what two multiplied by what three? Okay, that's good. Then plus we can also do this here as, as into cos cos three multiplied by s all the power was two so two times three you are six equals to what one over what four. Now let's obey one of the trick identity. Sorry. Now let's obey one of the trick identity. Don't forget that two times three is four. Two two times three is six, right? And three, two times three is six. Don't forget, very important. Let's obey the hypotagoras properties, right? That we know that by using trick identity, we know that sine square x, sine square s plus what cos square s, okay, is equal to what one. This is very important. Don't forget by using by applying what hypotagoras what theory. Now we can see that we are having sine square s here. We are having cos square, cos square s. You can either make this the subject or this the subject, but let me cause the subject cos square s subject that means cos square what cos square x will be equals to one minus sine what square x by subtracting sine x sine square s from both sides remember that this is what cos square s equals to this look at cos square s. so what we're going to do we're going to substitute this in place of what this is it not simple now what to add that this is what into sine square what sine square x or is power what three plus into in place of cos square s we are going to put what one minus sin what sin square what s or is power what three equals to what one over what four wow that's interesting now we can observe again that something is common right you can see that we have sin square s here we have sin square s here okay now we can see that let let what let sin square what sin square s equals to what p okay that's interesting now in place of sine square s we're going to put what p okay that means into that means p raised to the power of three plus or into one minus p all the power what three is equals to what one over what four wow that's interesting now one over p all the power three simply means that this parenthesis is what into three places okay that means p square to the power of three plus into one minus p into again one minus p into again one minus p equals to one over what four that is interesting right now we want to multiply everything here so that means p raised to the power of three plus into one times one will give us one one times minus p will give us minus p minus p times one will give us minus p minus p times minus p will give us what plus p square okay multiply by one minus what p all this equals to what one over what four that's interesting right now p raised to the power of three plus into one minus p minus p goes minus two p okay plus p was square multiplied by one minus what p equals to what one over what four wow that's interesting now let's multiply this by this that means p raised to the power of what three plus into 1 multiplied by 1 will give us what? 1. 1 multiplied by minus p will give us what? Minus what? P. Minus 2 times 1 will give us what? Minus what? 2. Minus 2 p times minus p will give us what? Plus 2 p what? Square. Okay? Then p times 1 will give us what? P square times 1 will give us what? P square. Then p square times minus p will give us what? Minus 2 what? P. Sorry? P times will give us p, right? Then p p times minus p look at p square times p times minus p goes up minus p what minus p is power what three 
minus p to power 3, okay? That is interesting. Then what? Close the parenthesis equals to what? 1 over what? 4. Now let's simplify what is inside the parenthesis. Now this is what? p to the power what? 3 plus into. Now let's take a light test. It's not going 1. Minus p minus 2p equals minus what? 3p, okay? Then p, 2p squared plus p, p squared equals what? Plus what? 3p what? Square minus what two minus p to the power what three equals to what one over what four. Wow, that's interesting. Now let's let's let remove the what let's remove the parentheses. So now this is what p to the power three plus one minus what three p plus three p square. Okay, minus p to the power what three equals to one over what. Four. Now you can see that this is this this can go up because p to the power three minus p to the power three is gone. So now this is what three p square minus three p. Okay, then plus what one equals to what one over what four. This is quadratic equation, but this is not what quadratic equation. Because our left hand side here, our right hand side having what one over four. So let's subtract one from both sides. That means three p square minus three p is equals to one. Sorry, equals to one over four minus what one then this is not become three p square minus three p equals to let's take a lcm lcm is what four four into four is one one times one will give us one four into four remember the denominator here is one so one into four is four times four times minus one is minus four then three p square minus three p is equals to one minus one minus four equals minus three divided by what four Let's multiply through by 4 or let's multi cross multiply. For cross multiply, now see that this is 4 into 3p square minus 3p equals to what? Minus what 3. Okay? Then three, 4 times 12, 4 times 3 equals what? 12p what? Square. 4 times 3 equals minus 3 what? Minus 12, right? Minus 12p equals to what? Minus what 3. Let's add 3 to both sides so that I can form a very knowing what quadratic equation. That means 12 what? 12p square minus 12p plus what 3 equals to what 0. This is very, very knowing what quadratic what equation. Pardon me to remove this from here, sorry, because the board is not enough. So I can stop for remember that for you look at not look at what you have. Remember that p, remember that p is equals to what remember that p is equals to what sine sine square what s done for is very important. So I can remove this from here, okay. Sorry that I'm using my bare hands. I'll not try it again, okay? Sorry for that. I don't know why I always forgot my duster. All right. Now let's solve this uh, using what factorization method. Now let's think of two numbers and we'll multiply them. We know that 12, two times, three, 12 times three give us what, 36, right? 36. Now let's think of two numbers and we'll multiply them again. We also have 36 and we'll add them or subtract them have minus 12. That is very simple. That this is called what? 12p minus 6p minus 6p plus what 3 equals to what 0. Because minus 6p minus 6p goes minus 12p, isn't it? Now our left hand side 12p minus sorry, this is square, right? This is square, don't forget. 12p square minus 6p. What is common? 2 is a common factor. 2 can go here, 2 can also go here. So you can see that 12, 2p is common, right? Into 12p square divided by 2p. 12p square divided by 2p goes what? It was 6p. Okay, now minus 6p divided by 2 with 2p equals what? Plus 1 equals minus what? 3 because minus is a minus 3, right? Then, what is common here? Minus 1 is common, so this is minus 1 into minus, minus 6p divided by minus 1 equals what? 6p. Okay, 3 divided by minus 1 equals minus what? 3. All this equals to what? 0. So you can see that what is common here is into 6p is common minus 3, okay? 6p minus 3 is common, then into divide the all of this by 6p minus 3, what about 2p? Divide the of this by this one, what minus one, all this equals to what zero. Let's solve it respectively. That means six p minus three is equals to zero, or two p minus one is equals to what zero. All right, let me still remove this from here. Sorry for this, please. I will not do this again. Now let's add three to both sides from here. That means six p will be equals to what three. Divide both sides by six. Divide here by six. This will go then. P here is equal to what? 3 to 3 is 1. 3 to 6 is 2. This is what? 1 over 2. Or P is equal to what? 0 0.5. Remember that 1 over 2 is less than 0 0.5 in, in decimal place. Or 2P by adding 1 to both sides equals to 1 divided by 2. 
divided by 2, 2 will go then P is equal to what? 0 0.5 because 1 over 2 cents is 0 0.5. That means P is equal to 0 0.5 what? Twice. Okay, twice. This is the value of P. But remember, we are not asked to solve for the value of P. We are asked that what is the value of what? X. Why are we solving for P? We are solving for P so that this problem can be easily be what? Solvable. Now, remember or recall, recall that, okay? Recall, recall, okay? Recall that we know that sine what? Sine square S is equal to what? P. And P is equal to what? 0 0.5 twice. That means sine what? Sine square what? Sine square S is equal to what? 0 0.5. What, now, let's take the square root of both sides so that we can remove the square from here. Take the square root of this. So, this will cancel out this. So now see that let us also remove it from here. Sorry for this. Okay, sorry for this. Okay. Alright, now this will now become what sine what sine square. Let me sign sign x because square root uh, cancel out square. Equals to what root what square root of what zero point what five. Okay. Now what is square root of zero point five? So let me use my calculator to check the square root of 0 0.5. Okay. Now the square root of 0 0.5 will give us what? It give us 0. Point. Let me sign S sign S be equals to 0. Calculator 0. Point, what, 0. Point, what, 0. Point 707 at what three decimal what place. But that is good. So what are we going to do? Remember, this is S we are looking for. Let's take the inverse. Okay, the inverse of sign. Okay. Take the inverse of sine simply means that when this sign is divided divide both sides by sine, this sign, take the inverse of it. If you divide both sides by sine, yeah, you are taking the inverse. That means s will be equal to the inverse of what sine, okay, of what 0 0.7 was 0 what 7. Now that means s is equal to what is the inverse of this sine inverse of the 7, 7, 0 0.707. It will give us what let's check my calculator. I have what I have 4.1 decimal place like 4. 44.9 at one decimal place to the nearest whole number that means s will be equal to what 45 to the nearest what whole number because i can possibly one from here to make it what 45 this is the value of what s to the nearest what whole number s is equal to what 45 so thank you so much for watching please if you find it interesting don't hesitate do well to like comment and subscribe to the long ones or others who learn from it so thank you so much and god bless you bye